Hello, I'm Shane Gibson with Sycamore Land Trust, and we're here today to talk about uh, making maple syrup. Um, this is the time of year in Indiana when we have freezing temperatures at night and thawing in the day that it's time to get the sap to make maple syrup. Step one is you've got to find a maple tree. And to do that, um, you need to look for a tree with opposite branches, like my arms are opposite. Here's a branch of a maple tree showing opposite branches. This one just happens to have some maple leaves kind of hanging on that gives us a clue as well. Uh, I oftentimes come out to the sugar bush, as they call it, and I will mark the trees when they have the leaves on it by tying a ribbon around it. So a lot of the trees in this area will have ribbons on them. I can spot them right away and I can go tap it when the weather is just right. Okay, now that you've found your maple tree, you got opposite branches, you've measured the diameter, it's at least 10 inches in diameter, um, you got to have your tools ready and you're ready to tap. What you're going to need first is something to drill a hole in the tree. Um, I will like to use a brace and a bit with an auger type bit. This bit uh, seems to extract the wood shavings out and makes a cleaner hole. Uh, I'm going to be using a 7 16 bit today. You will need some type of spile or spout. Um, this is a spile that has a hook that will hold my metal bucket. And you will need a hammer to hammer in the spile. And I like to keep a nail close by to clean out the hole and to also measure the depth of the hole. We're going to drill this hole about an inch and a half to three inches deep. So when I'm ready to tap the maple tree, um, I'm going to look to see if I can find um, last year's hole that has healed up. If I do find that, that hole, I am going to go three inches above, below, left or right uh, to be away from last year's tapping hole. Uh, we're going to tap. This looks like a good spot to me. When I'm hanging a, a bucket and I'm using this brace and bit, I just want to put the hole where it's most comfortable to drill it. Now, if I'm using uh, a bucket that's going to be on the ground versus hanging, then I'm going to have to get down and put the hole lower to the ground, which might be a little more uncomfortable. But for here, I can rest this on my around my waist to give a little bit of uh, the power, the, uh, the muscle, and just start spinning that in and I always tell people you know you're going the right way when you see the wood shavings come out and you can see them coming out here okay I'll back it out I'm gonna check my depth with my nail I'm gonna clean that out a little bit I just mark it with my finger I need to drill in a little bit more I want to keep that bit and the brace as straight as possible so that I'm not making the hole wider than the 7 16th drill bit. Turn it out. I'm going to say that's deep enough. Now today we're not getting any sap dripping right away. Uh, but a little bit warmer day, that sap would already be running out. Okay, we got the hole drilled, and we've got it cleaned out. Now we've got our uh, spile. Almost all the spiles are tapered. Smaller at this end, it gets a little bit bigger. And we're going to do gentle taps. we got to get this spile in. We want it to be firm. See a little bit of sap out here. We want it to be firm, but we don't want to hit it too hard because we we do not want to split the tree and, and make a larger injury on the tree. Gentle taps, give it a wiggle test. That feels pretty strong. It's got to be strong enough that it's going to hold a two or three gallon bucket or um, a sap bag. If you use that. And we'll hang that underneath there. We'll put our lid on. And there we have 
our container ready to catch our maple sap. Now one of my go-to books for making maple syrup is Rink Man's Backyard Sugaring. And Rink says that the goal of making maple syrup in your backyard is to spend as little as money as possible. And so one of the ways you can collect sap is to uh, just save and recycle jugs. Um, here we got a, a, milk, a gallon milk jug and we can just put a little hole in. We can get some, some tubing um, and we can put that spile, plastic spile, closer to the ground and put it right into our milk jug. Now in cleaning out your milk jugs or other food containers, just use hot water, rinse it uh, multiple times, do not use soap. You don't want any of that soap residue getting into your sap. Another great um, and cheap way to collect sap is getting a five gallon bucket from your local hardware store. Um, this lid and bucket, maybe $5 total. And here we can see we've drilled two holes in this, in this bucket. We can put our spiles in and we'll just have to measure if we were to drill this hole, uh, tap this tree, we would just need to measure our spiles um, so they match up with our bucket. And that is a great way to uh, five gallon bucket to both store, uh, transport, collect sap. Now, why are we tapping trees in the middle of winter? Well, when the, sea, when the temperatures start to get in that freeze thaw, freeze thaw, that creates this pumping action in the tree. It's sending that sap up to the tree. It's getting that message that spring is coming. So the sap that we're intercepting to make syrup is the food for the new growth. For more information about making maple syrup at home, contact me at shane at sycamorelandtrust.org.